approach spring, um, getting in here now, you're half, you're, you're past the halfway point, getting ready for a scrimmage on Saturday before the end next week. How, how would you rate the, the momentum that you guys have, the excitement level, um, and just the productivity that you're seeing out of these guys, especially coming off like an open practice last weekend? Again, what, what I'm noticing right now is we got a bunch of guys who love to play and, and they believe in what Coach Banks is doing defensively and they're flying around and, and getting, used to, uh, getting used to the tempo of our offense because our offense now, they, they, they play faster than heck now. So um, it's a process of putting in a new defense and then playing with that sort of a tempo. You got to make split second decisions and those guys are understanding now they got to beat them back to the ball. They got to get the call. They got a second to process what their um, responsibility is, and then they go execute. So, it, again, it's been a process, but every single day we've seen these guys taking steps forward, and, and every single day they, they just love to go out there. They practice every day if we let them. Hey, Mike, when you look at special teams in that return game, so some of the names, you know, at least we saw out there on – on Saturday, you know, Holiday, Callaway, and and some others. How are those returners kind of working out the spring? And how much are you guys actually working on the return game when obviously so much going on right now with, with the team right now? Well, it, it's kind of funny. I was joking around with Coach Burns, who's coaching our returners. And the other day, on, on Tuesday, we got uh, 119 catches of, of punts. So, I mean, we, it was rapid fire out there. I told him, I said, geez, it's pretty disappointing we didn't get 120. I mean, come on, man. But uh, anyway, we're getting, we're evaluating a lot of guys. And from a special team standpoint, spring practice, especially when you're new, all you're doing is you're taking every single player on your roster, you're evaluating their skill set every single day. And we've got a big spreadsheet. And we literally talk about the six different phases and say, all right, you know, um, Tommy can do this. He's probably not going to be on this one, but you know, I mean, just marking their skill set and plugging them and kind of putting together the, the pieces of the, puzzle, of the puzzle. Mike Wilson, then Gustavo. Yeah, Coach, Byron Young has been a guy that I think Rodney Garner talked about the other day. Uh, offensive line guys we talked to yesterday talked about him too. What is it about him that, that kind of gives him this, this ability to make an impact early? And um, what, what's kind of the division between those guys maybe working with a hand in the dirt, some stand up? I mean, is there... Are they doing both of those things, him and Bryson Eason? Well, in that position, it, it's really um, it's really kind of a hybrid position. So we'll be moving them around a lot of times. Sometimes they'll be stacked backers. Sometimes they'll be out wide in the boundary. Sometimes they'll be in the field. They'll be running all kinds of blitzes, all kinds of stunts. Really, the idea is not to let, let, not to let the offense find them. And so with BY's skill set, he's got unbelievable speed. I mean, the guy, the, the guy is extremely fast and he's very, um, he, he bends really well. So he can hit that corner and dip and rip and rub and, and, and beat him to the edge. And then he's also, he's really doing a good job working on his counter moves and really excited about him. And, he, and he's, he, that guy, he really, truly just every single day just loves coming out and competing. So I, I love the guy. Absolutely love him. Coach, uh, what do you see from your kickers on this past, you know, those 10 practices? What do you see from your kicking team? Well, from our place kickers, we've got a pretty good battle going right now. And, and we've really, we've looked at everyone. And, and um, I think Chase today was, uh, was five or six, did a nice job. Toby's doing a nice job. And, and then you've got um, Paxton from a punting perspective the other day. I mean, he was just banging them out there. I think he, on six punts, he averaged about 55 yards. And it's putting them right, right, exactly where we want them. So, um, so pleased with it. You know, every day those guys um, are coming to work and working on their craft, and and I think we've got a talented group. Patrick Brown. Hey, Mike. Uh, you, you talked a little bit earlier about Bryce Neeson. Just uh, as a guy that was a linebacker, kind of more a traditional linebacker in high school, how's that adjustment going for him to be in more of a, an edge guy, being more of a defensive end? And, and do you see that kind of skill set from linebacker sort of translate into what he's doing now? You really do. I mean, he's got a really, really quick first step. He's got great short area quickness. He's extremely tough. And he's really just learning um, what it's like to play you know, to play on the line or, or play outside linebacker. 
So every single day you're seeing big strides from him and he's getting more and more confidence. And it's been really fun to watch him grow and, and, uh, and just see his confidence level raise every day. Wallace. Thanks, Bill. Hey, coach, when you look at a player like, like Tyler Barron and the way that he's able to move it around, I know he's getting some work on the defensive line, but, you know, switching back up that outside spot as well. What have you seen from him when it comes to a leadership standpoint and trying to be that guy on defense others can look towards? Uh, you know what? He's, um, he's been banged up a little bit. Hasn't been, hasn't been out there much. And, and um, so really haven't been able to evaluate that from that, from that standpoint. And, but, um, you know, when he's been out there, when he's been going, he's done some good things. And, and um, but just excited to see, excited to see him out there every day. And, and can I also want to add on, what, what has your experience been like, getting away from football for a second, what's your experience been like in Knoxville so far? Uh, I think everybody follows your social media account, but, but what has that been like getting to experience baseball games and whatnot and just trying to soak it in? Boy, and, and I say this and, and I don't, uh, I don't mean this in disrespect to anywhere else I've been because I've loved every every spot I've been. But I absolutely I, I feel like I've died and gone to heaven here now. I mean, this place is everything I love. I mean, it's got the mountains, it's got water everywhere, and I tell you what, I just can't wait to get my boat here. And and uh, I'm still looking for a place on the river because I want to ski to work every day. So, but I, I love this place. Great town, unbelievable town. That everybody's. The community people are so so friendly and and I hope to be here a long time. I love it. Any other questions for Coach Eckler? All right, thank you, Coach, for your time. I appreciate y'all.